16 over 80. That's really good. Do you have any other questions I can answer for you before the doctor comes in? Well, I've heard a lot about the APGAR score. Can you maybe explain that to me? Actually, we have some really great teaching. Let me go get that. We got some great posters in the clinic to help us with some patient teaching. And I'm just going to, give me a second, I'm going to write down your blood pressure. Okay. The APGAR score is a test that's performed on a newborn. Um, one minute after birth and five minutes after birth. One minute after birth, it's to see how well the newborn tolerated the birth process. At, at five minutes, it's to see how the newborn is adjusting to the environment. It's on a scale of one to 10, and there's five subcategories, and each subcategory can score, as you see here, between zero, either a zero, a one, or a two. And the ABGOR is now starting to stand for the A is appearance, P is for pulse, G is for grimace, and A is for activity, and R is for respirations. So the first poster we have here is color. So um, when the baby's not getting enough oxygen, sometimes it, they turn blue. And if they are completely pale or blue, it's zero. And if just their extremities are blue, then it's a one. But if they look completely pink, then it's a two. So you want, your goal is to get the highest for each, for the newborn, but a high, like a 10 is rarely ever, it's really unlikely. Next we have res respirations. If your child is not breathing at all, then it's gonna be scored a zero. If she's, it's a weak or irregular cry, it'll be a one. And if she's got a strong, healthy cry, then it'll be two. The next subgroup is the heart rate. And if the child has no heart rate, it'll be a zero. And a normal heart rate for a newborn is over 100 beats per minute. And if it's less than 100 beats per minute, then it'll be scored a one. And if it's over 100, then it'll be scored a two. The fourth subcategory is the reflex irritability. If the child does no response, has no response, not a lot of activity, then they'll get a zero. If they kind of just grimace when you um, when you do this test, then they'll get a one. And if there's a loud, vigorous cry and they withdraw, when it's kind of a painful stimuli, it can be just raking your hand across their sole, the sole of their foot, or something along that line. If they cry loudly, then they get a two. And the last subgroup is muscle tone. And this is, again, if they lay there and they're just limp, not moving, and don't really do much, then they get a zero. If they have some flexing and bending, and they kind of, they can move, and their muscles are able to do that, then they'll get a one. And if they're actively thrashing their legs and arms, then they get a two. So you score all of these different subcategories, and at the end, you get the score, and you want to get between an eight and a 10, because then that means that they're normal and that they don't need any assistance. So if the score is less than eight, but higher than five, then they need some help. But if it's less, their score is less than five, then they need emergency help. So does that answer your questions? Yes, thank you for answering my questions. You're a great nurse. Thank you. The doctor will be right in. Thank you. You're welcome.